it's about inspiring the guys back home as well as uh, National Guard guys all over the world to uh, try and achieve their best. Yeah, it's just an honor to be able to represent the National Guard at these competitions and uh, I want to thank the, our AWG guys for putting on a great competition, Sergeant Major of the Army for letting us run the 10 miler with them and uh, just uh, inspire, hopefully inspire everyone to, to try to do their best. Definitely, I'd like to thank my unit back home for supporting me, my State Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Dana Wingad, um, all the guys at Warrior Training Center, uh, Sergeant First Class Ward and Sergeant First Class Mole, as well as their Sergeant Major Itis from the Warrior Training Center for all their help training up for this competition and supporting me through the whole thing. Overall, this experience has, uh, has truly humbled me, but in the broader side of things, from the beginning, from the state level to now, it's really made me a better soldier, a uh, better leader, a better person um, in all aspects, uh, spiritual, physically, mentally. So uh, losing today is a humbling experience, but in the, the broad scheme of things, I'm a much better person now than I was a year ago. I'm a better soldier now, and I can take those skills back to the National Guard, back to the state of West Virginia, help make others better and lift other people up from that. The greatest thing I learned is to, to give 100% each and every single day, whether it's training or whether it's in a competition. You have to apply yourself to everything you, you're putting yourself to the test to. If you don't apply yourself 100%, you're, you're not going to reach your goals. So I won't say today I missed a goal. Um, there were other people here that were better, but I can say I, I completed something successfully just by making it at this point. So always just strive towards your goals and never give up. Uh, that's, that's what it's all about. That's why we're here. It's representing the citizen soldier. So I'm not only representing the soldiers back in the state, but I'm also representing the communities and the people that live in those communities. So that, that honor, it's, it's unmeasurable. You can't put a price on it. It's the biggest one there is. The National Guard, that's not, well, obviously changed my life, but it's, it's helped me look inside, find out who I want to be as a person and as a leader, and how not only I want to give to my country, but give back to my community and help soldiers and families. That event, my 100%, ended up being the best. Uh, I hold that recognition high. That was that was awesome. There's another 25 soldiers here. You know, they're deserving the same recognition. They're all great in their own areas of emphasis. I'd just like to thank my support uh, with National Guard Bureau and more importantly the leadership in West Virginia. Everyone from my squad leader, platoon sergeant, first sergeant, to all the soldiers in my unit. I appreciate everybody their support, and uh, I look forward to coming home.